hey guys it's me Tolha. so here is another facade design in revit tutorial and in this video i will be showing you how to model this cool looking block facade design in revit now before we begin i would like to remind you to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my advanced revit courses and if you find this video beneficial consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week anyway let's get started so here i'm in revit and as you can see i have this basic building model here now one of the easiest way to create such facade designs in revit is by using curtain wall so in this video we are going to do the same we are going to use curtain wall or, or curtain panels to create such facade design so let's go to level 2 here and i'm going to create a curtain wall let's select wall from here and I'm just going to select curtain wall from this drop down and just make sure top constraint is level 3 and we can just use pick lines let's put one foot offset and pick this line there we go now I'm just going to go to the elevation and just drag this curtain wall to the top here now uh, we want to create uh, openings on this curtain wall so let's select the curtain wall click edit profile and i'm going to use the size of the blocks or the panels to measure the opening here so the size of each block is going to be four by four feet so here i'm going to leave two rows so let's select pick lines and first i'm going to leave three blocks here or three rows of blocks so it, it will be 12 feet uh, and then we want to leave six blocks here so it's going to be 24 let's pick this line and then on this side we want to leave four blocks so it will be 16 feet let's pick this line and then use tr and just trim these lines and we want to split this sl split this line and then use tr again to trim these lines so perfect now we want to create another small opening here so for that also we can use pick lines and first i want to leave one block so it will be four feet let's pick this line and then this one and we want to leave three blocks from this side so it will be 12 feet there we go and then from here we want to create two blocks so so let's put eight feet and let's pick this line and then i'm just going to use tr and trim this line and just trim these lines as well and we have created the another opening and we have the last one so for that also i'm going to use pick lines and from the top we want to leave uh, two blocks so it will be eight feet and from here we want to leave two blocks so before doing so we just want to drag this line here and just click remove constraints and then we can use pick lines and just put eight feet and pick this line like so and then we want to leave one block from here so it will be four feet let's pick this line and then we just want to use stream and just trim these lines and then we can just join this line from here and trim it so that's how it looks now so we have these two openings and the rest is going to be the curtain wall or the blocks which we will add later on let's click finish and if i go to 3d it's looking something like this now once the curtain wall is ready we can go ahead and create the curtain panels so let's go to file new family and here i'm going to use a family template from this english imperial folder if you want you can use the metric one from this english folder let's open this and here let's look for curtain wall panel here we have it let's select that open and first i am going to go to the elevation here and select this reference plane and just make it four feet and this one should be two 
two feet so so we are going to have this four by four panel here now i'm just going to create a sweep let's select sketch path and i'm just going to create a rectangle and let's go to right view and first let's click finish path and then click edit profile and we'll create a profile here it's going to be one foot and and one foot here as well and then i'm just going to join these two lines so this is our profile let's click finish and there we go so we got this block here now let's save this i'm going to call it block one you can call it whatever you like let's click save now we want to create another block with a different size so let's go to the elevation again and increase the size of this and i'm just going to make this four feet and let's tab select this reference plane and uh, make it eight feet so this one is going to be eight by eight and we want to edit this profile as well so double click on it and then go to right elevation again and just double click on this one as well and we just want to scale this profile let's select all then scale and we'll scale it one foot six click finish finish again and let's save this family as well just go to file save as and family this one is going to be block 2 click save and let's click here to close uh, inactive views and then click here to close family editor now let's load both of the families that we just exported just go to insert load family and select both of these families click open now to use these families we need to edit this curtain wall so first i'm just going to isolate this select the curtain wall press hi on the keyboard to isolate the curtain wall uh, let's select the curtain wall again edit type duplicate let's call it blocks let's click ok now here the first thing which i am going to do is add the grid lines so let's add vertical grid lines let's select fixed distance and then i'm just going to put four feet spacing and horizontal grid also same fixed distance and four feet spacing and now we need to select the uh, curtain panel family that we just created so let's type here block uh, for this one i'm going to use block one let's click ok delete type replace panels there we go that's how it looks like now here we have this uh, panel missing we can just tap select this panel and just replace it with block one just type here block and select block one there we go now uh, let's work on these openings so first i'm just going to go back to level three here and create an angled uh, curtain wall so let's go to architecture select wall and uh, let's use pick lines and just give one foot offset and let's drag it from here and make it 12 feet now we can go back to 3d and just go to the front view and let's drag it here and just drag it to the to this uh, block here as well and then we can just replace this curtain wall with the new one that we just created here we have it there we go it's looking a lot better now let's work on this big opening we want to use another curtain panel family first we need to create a curtain wall here so let's go to level two maybe and i'm just going to create a curtain wall again we will use pick lines and give one foot offset from here 
and let's go back to 3d okay it's created here let's go to front view uh, okay we can just edit this profile so let's click edit profile delete this one and i'm just going to create a profile here like so let's click finish then we can just copy this one copy let's paste that here and then we can just edit profile delete this profile and we'll create one here okay it's a bit difficult to see let's go to south elevation and it should be like this now we got curtain wall on these two openings now we can just replace them with the curtain panel family so let's hover over the edge of this curtain panel and hit tab key a couple of times to select the panel as you can see here the panel is selected let's replace that with uh, block 2 with this one block 2 there we go let's repeat that here as well just hover over the edge hit tab key a couple of times and then replace it with block 2 there we go now we can just click this goggles icon and just select reset temporary isolate elements there we go that's how easy it is to create this kind of cool looking uh, block facade design in Revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my advanced Revit courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you find this video beneficial consider supporting my work on patreon to help me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video